now that we've got our purchase orders in, we got our price list in, we've done our open service tickets and our open uh, pro, uh, special order parts, in theory, we could go ahead and start using Lizzie now and be working on inventory at the same time. Now, obviously, there's a hundred different ways that you can do this. I'm just bringing up the fact that you can technically start using the system right this minute, even though you have not done inventory. Now, if you've if we converted your inventory into the system, then it'll already be there. So this is a moot point. Um, but if you have not converted your inventory and this is the first time that you're you know getting into doing inventory in lizzie you can actually go through and do inventory bin by bin a, as you go but go ahead and have people invoicing uh, out of the system now um, in order to do that basically what is going to happen is you're going to go in and create a new invoice i'm just going to use the the current customer and and so basically what will happen is when you put a part on the invoice so let's just pick one that we obviously nothing will be in stock at this particular point as, as an example i'm going to and this part doesn't have a part price so we'll just say 400 dollars um, so we put the part onto the invoice the system says I don't have it, so it's going to have to order it. So it's going to put it on a purchase order. But in this particular case, I do have it. And I want to go ahead and just tell Lizzie that for this one invoice, I do have this part. I'm just going to select the red button, tell Lizzie that I have one of these, and let her adjust my inventory right then and there. Now, yes, it's possible I have five more of these on the shelf. But when I get around to doing inventory on that particular bin in a little bit, it'll know I'll have five left and I'll adjust five of them into inventory. But in the meantime, Lizzie has already adjusted one, which means at the point that you actually started using Lizzie, you had six of those in stock and you've sold one. And Lizzie accounts for all of that. So basically there is a go live date in, inside of Lizzie that she keeps track of exactly when you started using the software. And so any of these red button clicks or you manually adjusting your inventory, even if it takes a month to get all of it done, it's all going onto your books for the day before you started using Lizzie or the day before you went live so that you have all of your adjustments on a single day to make it look like you shut down and did all your inventory on one day. So the system keeps track of everything that you're doing when you're adjusting inventory and the purchase orders and things that you're legitimately receiving into the system, they don't go against that. They go against their regular day. So it, it really works out in the end that you can get up and running immediately if you want to. Um, it's perfectly okay to shut down and do inventory as well. Um, but we just want to mention that, that you do have a couple different choices as to when you get up and running on the system.